All right, y'all. So for my fried chicken today, I've chosen to use chicken drumettes. Um, we're gonna season these up really well with some seasoned salt, some complete seasoning, some red pepper flakes, some green seasoning, and some black pepper. And for our coating, we're gonna be using a mixture of egg and milk and some flour. And then we're gonna be using this bag just to combine the chicken with our wet ingredients and then we're gonna be rolling them in the flour. So let's go ahead and get our chicken well seasoned. So I'm gonna go in with some of this complete seasoning and when I say we season in this chicken well guys, we season in this chicken well. I wanna taste that seasoning in my fried chicken. Going in with some seasoned salt. Going in with some red pepper flakes because I want a tad bit of spice in my fried chicken today. Of course, omit that if you are not a pepper lover. And then I'm just gonna go in with some black pepper. Lastly, I'm going to be adding some of this green seasoning. And guys, when we talk about seasoning, this chicken about to be seasoned. This chicken about to be yummy. And then, you know, I like to put my hands in it. Of course, remember to always wash your hands immediately after handling chicken or any kind of meat for that matter. If you use your bare hands, that's just to ensure that you don't get any bacteria on any of your surfaces. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure every piece of this chicken gets the seasoning massaged into it. So now that our chicken is seasoned, we're going to go ahead and mix our egg and milk together. And we're going to just beat them together. And then we're just going to add our chicken to this bag. You can go ahead and throw in any leftover seasoning that's in the bowl. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add our egg and milk mixture in here. I'm gonna pause to wash my hands quickly. Hands are all washed and I'm back. Just remove any extra air from the bag. And then we're just gonna let our just gonna rub our chicken all up in this milk and egg combination. Just rub it all up in there. Now, if you have buttermilk, you can definitely omit the egg. The idea is just to rub it all up in there. There we have it. Next, we're gonna be dipping these in some flour and moving on to frying. All right, so we have our flour here and just so our flour is not completely bland, we're gonna be adding a bit of salt to it. And also just to get a bit of extra spice, I'm gonna be adding some red pepper flakes to my flour. And one last thing, I'm gonna be adding some black pepper. Once we've had, once we've added all of those, we just wanna go ahead and um, just mix them in. Get them blended into the flour. I already have my oil preheating. 
right so I'm gonna start dipping now I'm gonna remove a piece of chicken from our mixture dip it into the flour so you want to use your dry hand for the flouring and your wet hand to pick up the chicken okay I'm just gonna make sure that the flour is generously distributed on our chicken yeah there we go there's some spots up here there we go I'm just gonna put it into a plate that I have on the side and we're gonna move on doing this with each piece of our chicken So we're all set and ready for frying. Let's go over and check the heat of the oil. So they say if you put a wooden spoon in your oil and it belong, it be, <laughs> I'm tongue tied. It begins to bubble, then your oil is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a piece of chicken and see if it really is. Yep, our oil is definitely ready, so I'm going to go in with a few more pieces of chicken. And I think five is enough, just so we don't overcrowd the oil, okay? So this batch of our chicken is looking golden and delicious guys. It looks just about ready to get out of this frying pan. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these and put in a second batch. 